spoke recently with uh, Graham Bonnet and he spoke very, very highly of you. He said you were oh, amazing and he remembers telling his parents that he's got a guitar player in who plays the guitar like it's a piano and all that sort of stuff. And what was your <laughs> memories of your time with Graham and, and with Alcatraz? Well, it started out kind of where um, Frank, I had, Frank had basically disbanded the band, got himself a Sinclavier and started working on that. So I wanted to go out and start doing some things because I couldn't uh, understand in my head how I was going to put a solo band together and go out there. So I thought it would make more sense to to join an established band. And uh, when Ingve Malmsteen hit the scene, he he blew us all away. I mean, he floored us. And when he was leaving that band, I thought, well, you know, this opportunity. And I auditioned for the band. I didn't think I was going to get the gig because I didn't sound anything like Ingve. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I really liked the guys. You know, they they were really good guys. And Graham was, Graham was, uh, he had a great sense of humor, you know, and he was just very kind of, uh, it, it, it was my first opportunity to be in the band with, be in a band with somebody that was European. Yeah. So that was great. But when he would sing, I just couldn't believe it. This, the, the power that came out of his voice, out of his mouth, it was, it was pretty stunning, you know, because I, I had before that I had never been involved with a singer like that. Yeah. So everything was kind of new, new, new. And it was it was really good for me because uh, the guys trusted me because I was very hands on and uh, I could write, you know, I wrote the music and I liked working with Graham. You know, he he. I, I'd come up with the music, and he would put the melody and the the lyrics. And like I say, he was uh, a, a powerhouse singer, mm -hmm. yeah. and really great sense of humor.